Hello. <clears throat> you may be aware that the entry into service of a new aircraft engine is subject to very strict regulations. It requires official authorizations, and for this the engines put through numerous tests on the ground and further development tests in flight. During these tests, the engine is stretched to its limits to prove that it meets all the safety and reliability conditions demanded by the authorities. For a new engine to obtain this certification, thousands of hours of tests are carried out on 15 different units of the engine. This means that certification can take several years. Some of the 32 different certification tests are decisive like the fan blade out test at the front of the engine. An explosive charge is placed on one of the blades and detonated so as to separate it from the fan. It's an impressive test in which the engine must prove its ability to contain the blade debris, preventing it from causing critical damage, thus ensuring the safety of the aircraft and its passengers. Another test is what we call the endurance test. For this one, the engine runs for 150 hours at different power and temperature levels to prove its robustness and longevity in extremely varied flight conditions. There are also icing tests, used to prove that running in freezing atmospheric conditions doesn't affect the engine's performance. Furthermore, small or large hailstones are projected into the engine to simulate the hailstorm conditions a plane could encounter while airborne. Then there are well-known tests, like the bird ingestion test. These major tests seek to prove that the engine is capable of withstanding, while at full power, contact with a goose or a flock of smaller birds. Rumour has it that frozen chickens are used for this test. But in fact, real geese or seagulls are used, as they represent more accurately the bird's musculature. Don't worry, we only use pre-deceased birds and we work in close collaboration with accredited animal protection organisations and veterinarians. Moreover, other than certification and final design stage testing, gelatin-based projectiles have been invented to replace the birds. Once all the tests are judged to be conclusive, the approved engine receives a certificate from the official European and American authorities and can finally be put through its final test. There, now you know everything, or nearly everything. Before we leave you, note that even when the engine has been certified, testing continues, because every single series jet engine is put through all these tests again before delivery to the customer. <laughs>